Welcome back to YouTube. This is Craft Kim here with more strategy Saturday. Strategy. Strat Sat. Uh, you probably, hopefully, know Lozilla. This is my Flareon. Uh, so, said to honor him with a Strategy. Strat Sat the strat sap. So, using Clarion takes guts. Pros and cons. It's got 130 attack and guts, which gives you a free choice band whenever your stat is. But you're a fire type, so you can't be burned. So you have to use a toxic orb. But, it's not bad. You take... Uh, I think that... Burn does like... 1 16th of your health. And then... Toxic does like... Burn does like 1 8th. I don't know. However it works... Um, Toxic does less damage the first turn, and then the same damage is burned the second turn. So only after being in three turns is Toxic more damage. Also, you're getting... You aren't bothered by status because you're using Guts. Um, like, you probably don't want to switch into a Thunder Wave, because then you're... Uh, Getting paralyzed, and just one little thing, uh, you don't take the toxic damage the first turn, so if you switch into a toxic, you'll take the toxic damage that turn that you switched in, then you'll take the next turn, but you only take the first toxic damage, um, after you've been, after the toxic orb has been activated. And stab flare lets is just, <laughs> but, your main stab, kind of your only stab, is a recoil move, which is very powerful, but it's also very recoily. And with Toxic Orb, you probably are going to be taking a lot of damage. You don't have a lot of mo you don't have a large move pool for well, you don't have a large coverage move pool. I'll talk about that later. And 65 speed. You probably won't stick you up sport. But here's a interesting thing. 110 special defense. The support move pool. Huh? All the evolutions have pretty good support move pools, so. Here's my two set ideas. Guts attacker and a fire in the firewall. Uh talk about guts. Uh so toxic orb for gang status and guts for damage. I just I run Jolly and Max Speed for Mozilla. And with Sticky Web, and, she, and he even outspeeds some, like, most tanks and stuff. So, it's, it's really surprising. He does outspeed a lot of stuff. Flare Blitz and Super Power are pretty much givens. Flare Blitz is, like, your only good stab. Facade is, well, Super Power is coverage. It's rock types. And... Because the rest of your move pool is um, bad. Bad. Facade, if it's got like flash fire or something, you know, if it's a water type, facade um, is 70 base power that's doubled with guts. So, unless it. So, you don't want to flare blitz if you can't flare blitz. Facade, if you can't. Facade, superpower. That's the order of. Strength. This is all 
assuming that it's not a super effective hit, or whatever. But I run quick attack, because I just like the revenge killing. If they're really weak, if I if they have like a sash, bam, quick attack, now my toxic orb is activated, I'm up full health, I can bring on the, I can, like, bring it on, next opponent, Pokemon, yeah. Iron Tail? I don't like that accuracy, it's like... 75-ish? Something like that. I don't like the accuracy, but it's Sky Ridge. Flame Charge, if you... That's one way to get around the speed. And Protect for... Um, guaranteed Orb... Um, activation, but... I don't really like that, because it's like using a... whoops. Because it's like moving one move slot. Using one move slot for a move that you're not going to use after having Toxic act activated, because you don't want to protect, because then you're, you're taking Toxic damage. Let's go to the Firewall. Leftovers. And... Um, flash fire because immunity. Sweet. It's fire immunity. Um, leftovers is just healing. Might want to run like citrus rocky helmet, but I just like leftovers on walls. Uh, calm nature. If you're on a simulator, you always want zero attack IVs just because confusion and foul play. Um, maybe we've got some status act options. Um, you have Will-O-Wisp as a fire type, Toxic as a Pokemon. Literally, like, 15 Pokemon don't get Toxic. Just kind of a lot. But whatever, you get Toxic. Yawn as an Evolution. You get that as an Egg move. And Lava Plume, if you don't want to be Taunt Bait, it has... 10 less base power than flamethrower, but a 20% higher chance to burn, which is nice. Heal Bell and Wish can really support the rest of your team. And Roar can, like, phase them out. Like, maybe you want to Will-O-Wisp them and Toxic, or Toxic them, then Roar again. Then Toxic, then Roar, then will o then Roar, and just throw stats all over. And if they can't hit you hard enough, because when you, because you're like a special defensive wall, but you have a I have a problem with talking, <laughs> but you have a high special defense, and then you're burying them and lowering their attack, or toxicing them and lowering their HP. And I just want to mention, Toxic, Wish, and Protect on one set is very good. Oh, also, Protect because Toxic. Um, you can prob- you can run, like, I'm not saying that you have to run those moves. If you already have something that supports Wish or you don't need Wish support, that's fine. If you aren't bothered by status, if your team isn't, you don't have to run Heal Bell. But I'm just saying, if you can, I think that Toxic Wish and Protect is very good. Um, Protect always gives you a little leftovers recovery. You never know. So that's just like, if you can Protect do, unless you're making predict and they want to get a free switch. It's always good to predict. And if you use a wish, if you toxic them, then protect. Get a little leftovers. They took a little damage. Then wish. They didn't kill you. Protect again. Now they're taking more toxic damage more and more. And you keep on wishing and protecting and wishing for protecting and they're only damaging you half of the time. And you're getting half of your HP every other turn. So, it's pretty scary. What 
to watch out for. Um, on my the villain video, I I didn't really mention that. Uh, I didn't really talk about the double support. It's basically just like taunt. And strong hits. But, um, Chandelure is going to be a very large problem. It, unless you're running Shadow Ball, you can't do anything to it. Like, you just can't do anything. Uh, this side is, uh, the left is, um, Guts Attacker, and the left is... I mean, the right is... The right is the... Wall set. Wall set. So, you can't do anything to Chandelure. Uh, you're still slow. Even with sticky webs and scarfers, like... And flying types. You're taking a lot of... Recoil on and toxic damage. So, if they have protect, or if they, like, have something at really low HP with priority, they might just want to fodder it off. Like, have it use their priority, Take you take a little damage, then you use Flare Blitz, you take a little more recoil damage, and that's another turn of toxic. That's going to do even more next turn. And physical hits. You can survive a decent number of special ones, even with no investment, with your nice spe special defense, but, like, um, Lander Asterion usually runs Scarf. It's faster than you anyway, so it'll, like, intimidate you, and then, bam, Earthquake. Zoomerill, Waterfall, or Aqua Jet. Really super effective hits. You're not super bulky. And for if you're the wall, basically the normal stuff that stops walls. Um, I want to mention that Chandelure gets taunt. So, because Lava Plume is pretty much the only thing that you want to run, so is Heatran. Basically, Flash Fire is going to wall you out. Um... Or Taunt will wall you out. Even if you have Lava Plume, you still don't want to only have that, because you're not going to be doing a lot of damage. Other walls can Toxic you. Chance he has Serene Grace. No. Yes, it does, but it has Natural Cure to switch out. And ha being set up on, you... That Age Slash wants to go... Plus six. Dragon Knight wants to use Swords Dance and um, if it's a Lumberry Dragon Knight, uh, I think you saw that on a Battle Spot episode. This person had a Destiny Bonding Gengar and they just threw out the Will Wisp. Well, I was still setting up because I had Lumberry. So all Dragon Knight needs, or all H Slash needs, even though it doesn't really. On them. But if it can, but like, if you weren't running Will Wisp, that's a problem. And even if, and if they're a special attacker, maybe they're like using Quiver Dance. So basically, you can't do a lot of damage, so they're going to want to set up on you. Here's what you want to do uh, here's how you can support Flareon. Use Sticky Web. Uh, your low speed. That's originally. That's originally why I bred Mozilla. It's just that it's in battle spot. It's 3v3, so not as many. Not as much switching. Hazards aren't as useful. But Mozilla works fine out of it, but you still want to be able to outspeed, like. Some slow stuff like base 100s. I don't know exactly what you outspeed. 
and for firewall you want a defensive wall make a wall core and it, you probably want it to be weak to fire so ferrothorn is a great option they're like oh ferrothorn I'll just throw out a flamethrower BAM now flareon's in and it's going to be doing a little more damage with lava plume which is cool but having an immunity is, is really great because then you can switch into that and then if they want to like earthquake or waterfall you BAM ferrothorn comes in if they want to fire or fine move him you can't do anything about fine moves but oh well a lot of fighting moves are physical, so Ferrothorn can take those. And wish support for the Guts Attacker, because that's a really great way to keep it. Because after all that recoil, they're like, okay, that was a really powerful Flareon, it hit super hard. However, it's at really low HP, it should die soon. It should die, like, from recoil, from toxic. Oh, or like I have a priority Pokemon. Then you switch in. You have like a Wish, Chansey, Nine Game. There's like three Wish Chanseys. Not even. Uh, but whatever. You have like a Florgus, Florges, Flargs, Flargs. Whatever it is, you know flower thingy yeah uh... now you're back at good hp so you can keep on going <laughs> and i will see you at the try it out section of the video where i give an example of flareon just like sweeping i'm probably i'm going to do only Sorry about this, but I'm not going to do a showcase of Wall Flareon or support the villain. Like, I'm suggesting ideas, but all of the Pokemon have. All of the Pokemon, you see, I actually have. All the Pokemon you're going to see are Pokemon that I actually have. It's, and I don't want to, like, rebreed uh, another Flareon or something. So, bye, even though you're going to see me in less than zero seconds. Not really. Not less than zero. Bye-bye. Okay, time for the try it out section of StratSat. But, there are, um, two things I wanted to mention. Uh, first of all, hazards are also annoying, so you want to remove those. You are weak to... Stealth Rock, and, um, you will, so, and with your coverage and stuff, like, you know, if you, if they send out something that's, like, you can't hit hard or super effectively and you're scared, you probably want to switch out a lot, and with superpower and resetting the toxic counter, yeah, you want to do a lot of switching, so being weak to Stealth Rock is really not nice. And Fortress is another great um, physical wall because, again, because it's not even weak to fighting. This is talking about a uh, firewall set. Now, uh. So now I'm going to go into my weird teacher voice. Welcome back, class, to try it out section of Stratsat. The opponent leads with a Metagross, and I lead with a Bolt. But that is not a Metagross. That is a Zoroark. Well, 
both survives the survives the dark pulse and the recoil. The next Pokemon sends out is Magross. The actual Magross. Pokemon goes for Wild Charge and it's a crit. However, he faints to recoil. Bolt does not take any damage from the. Uh, none of my Pokemon take any damage from the Ice Punch because it's. because Bolt fainted. Then, he sends out, or she sends out, the Melotic, Melotic, to soak up that Flare Blitz. And Mozilla does half of its health. It might be a crit, but still. This is a great example of the sheer power of Flareon. Without guts, even. So, Sag quickly finishes off that Melotic, and then Flare Blitz is a good game. So, Flareon is best used as a sort of clean upper, cleaner upper in late-ish game. Once you've removed or weakened some of the other threats. Until next time, this is Craft K Gaming signing out.